Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I came over here and got it on the hoist already. So I can cut out the floor and have it sitting right. But she is shorty now. I gotta make some brackets for this bumper. I don't know what the deal is with these brackets it came with. Like I said, this bed was on a, on a 67 or... Well, 67 through 71, 72 truck. So, um, obviously, it didn't belong there, but they had already done something to uh, this bumper to fuck with it. I don't even know if this bumper is from Square Body, to be honest. Gotta look some pictures, but it'll go good with it. It was on it anyway. You see, the 8 lug fucking wheels usually don't have badass hubcaps, and then these rallies are for the fucking Dodge. And none of the Chevy dog dishes for the three quarter actually fit around this donut here on the wheel. But I really like the slots in this wheel, so so I cut these fucking Chevy hubcaps from an older Chevy, the swap mate. And I think they're gonna look wicked because I'm still gonna go with low pros. Thing is that for something like this, you gotta fucking make some shits like this. A little curl on the top, and they're gonna go weld it right here. And I'm gonna make like four of them all around, and they're gonna be able to be bent to more or less the center one side. Because I'm gonna use this line as a reference. It's gonna be so. I have four of these holes made all the same. And it's measured to where it lands the same exact distance to where the lip meets. So I'm gonna fucking sap them in and then hopefully everything comes out golden. The tab's looking a little wild there, but <clears throat> it works. So I'm gonna try it on and see what's up. It's a lot of work for one wheel. <laughs> Times four. It's all right. Damn it, boy. Look at that shit. Centered and secured. God damn, I love this thing already. Look at them fucking wheels look sick. The hubcats like from a 60s Chevy truck. Not too sure what model. I think it's funny that it's a white 20. Gonna make the taps for all the other fucking three hubcaps, but that's what we're rolling with. So obviously with my luck, the fucking bolt on the adjuster broke on this shit. So I put this nut over here in the back because this has a grip. It has a grip of tongue on it, but you know, it broke from the other side. So I'm gonna fucking thread this in there and then blast it with the MIG, MIG welder and then try to see if I can extract it. But I'm pretty much in the last parts of it. I already figured out the fuel pump. This car came with an electric fuel pump. And um, I had to bridge it to current because it wasn't actually like connected or whatever the fuck they connected it to wasn't really jiving, but I was able to get it pumping, so that's good. This little broken ass bitch. I wonder if it's um bad for this alternator to to weld on it. But I do have warranty on this one, so 
cool down and theoretically I should be able to take that fucking broken bolt out things that are fucking died through the over here but since it had a long tail Since I tell this fucking Cadillac, I'm gonna drive you, bitch. I'm gonna fucking drive you. But, um, and I am. But goddamn, it's just a bunch of bullshit. So, <clears throat> when I first turned the motor over, it had the starter it came with. And it was fucking making a bunch of racket. And I thought, wham, the fucking Bendix is broken or whatever the fuck. So, I swapped it out and I put another mo uh, fucking starter motor that I had laying around and it turned it over a couple of times you know just to test that it was good like the wiring so I thought it was golden so yesterday when I go to start the motherfucker already I have everything fucking ready it starts fucking skipping teeth on the starter so it didn't have any shims on it on the starter motor when I first um so the motherfucker didn't have any shims, so I put another starter that I knew was good with shims, without shims, with less and more shims. Like, I took the motherfucker off already, like, 20 times yesterday, the whole day. I even stopped recording. I was just fucking fed up with this hoe. So, it's fucking up the gears on the starters, on all three of them. And then, like, when I turned the motor, I found out that it has a fucking flat spot on the on the flywheel, on the flex plate, ring gear, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because I'll say flywheel and then some fool out there will be like, when it's an automatic, it's not a flywheel. You know? So, before you fucking text that shit. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just annoyed at this moment right now. Let's see what happens. I have to take it all out again or something. His teeth are missing, and I think it's not straight. I believe it's this is out. I want you to spin it right here while I'm looking at it. I've been trying to fucking put other starter and shim it and unshim it and all this shit, but it doesn't look that worn out or, or warped like in the eye. I think it should work. I don't know, man. I'm tripping out. It has like four teeth missing, like the little bit of the top of it. I think 
and it's all rusted out, so it didn't happen recently, so I think maybe it got dragged when it got fucking put away, or maybe the car it was on was low, I don't know, but like I said, it doesn't even look like it would be a reason for it not to turn, I'm fucking tripping on it, but yeah, anyway, I have this shit warming up here, It's been shifting okay. I already got up to fluid, but there might be air in the fucking torque converter because of it's just been sitting and shit without fluid. So I'm gonna run a little bit and then check the fluid again and then see how it acts. But it's not uncommon for automatic transmission sitting a long time to be acting a whack. We'll see. I'm gonna tell you what though, these fucking shifters are some bullshit. You have to fucking be playing with a little lock. Reverse. I said in reverse. I don't know. Maybe. Actually, got it there the first time. You know, because when the car wants to act in the video, he'll act perfect. You should be like, fuck the talking shit, bitch. But yeah, this bitch, she runs. She shifts. Still gotta keep an eye on all the fluids, check for leaks. Oh, shit, bang. You know, it's been sitting forever, but yeah, that's how you do it. She's parked. Pretty golden. Pretty little cute car. Like a go kart. So I put these long guides and then suspended the motor, suspended the transmission, unbolt all the other bolts, and did the drive shaft, all that bullshit. And I have it separated. I'm able to maybe put the other flywheel that I have here now. Six bolts. See, with those guides, we're able to fucking. Slide the transmission back and keep it in relative position. That way when you put it back together, you gotta just slide it forward and slap the bitch together. Keeps you from taking the whole in. engine the fuck out. It's out. Just gotta pry this bitch out. Yeah, so I've been working on cleaning up the wire in here. Uh, I'm doing a wire tuck on it. Change up the headers. Yesterday I had to um, fuck with the transmission. Everything seems pretty good on it. Um, checking for leaks. But pretty much that was all I need to do was to find out if the transmission was still golden. And it is. It's still shifting and everything pretty good. Um, took a good amount of fluid, it was pretty much empty. Put, to, put, put two of those gallons and shit, it's barely at the level. But that's what it takes, it takes 15 quarts on a, on a TH350 dry. So, this bitch was close to dry anyway. Yeah, I was, I was a bitch, but I got the new ring gear on there, the new fucking flywheel or whatever the fuck. Um, this is the old one that I took out. I guess it's warped. It looks pretty fucking warped. What 
I don't think the warmness is what's fucking me. I think it's missing chunks of the teeth. Really, what the problem is? Somewhere. for the fucking diagram for this car, this car and shit um this is supposed to open but there's something stuck in there I think it's one of those valve nuts I'm gonna get a little magnet and put it in here anyway um so I'm gonna wanna get a diagram for this fucking harness because this was put a hot lead off the battery going here so that's always pulling the thing is that when you leave the battery on this bitch it's gonna kill it ask me how I found out so <clears throat> it's a little vampire on this hole I wonder if that was for the lights I know it has like some sort of voltage regulator down here it looks to me like it's that and uh, this is going towards that Anyway, I'm, I'm just going to play detective here in the morning for a little while on this thing. It's just simple, just uh, talking and getting rid of all the shit. I have dashboard lights, but I don't have headlights. But I do have side blinkers. Yeah, yeah. So, i got to figure all that shit out. Historically, the wiring on these cars is shit. Like they're known for having like spaghetti ass wire and shit. So I have the charging system already running standalone off the Chevy alternator one wire. So we're gonna go off of that and turn on the mini as much as the unnecessary crap as possible. Yeah, so initially my plan was just to cut it around here. And leave this post where it's at, but now that I have a real short bit here, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's not going to be right. So, I have to cut this bitch out and move it over here, about right here, and that's where the short bit's going to be. Yep. I might even have to move the back one, I don't know. For sure. I just haven't around... I haven't gotten around to cutting this bitch, but it's pretty much close. I'm gonna cut the bed and mount it. I traded the hood that it had for this hood from the homie Sergio. It's kind of dinged up. The other one was too, and the other one was. The other hood was also separated from here, like this one. The only thing that this one has this little, um, the back's folded in here, so I'm gonna have to hammer it out. But the reason I traded him was because <clears throat> this one actually has the structure where it bolts on the hinges, and the other one didn't. The only reason he traded me is because he has other hoods. I should cut one to make it a GMC hood. And uh, pretty much treated me that and the back old fender that was fucked up on this bed. I also got the sidestep from him. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying was 
you see this post is gonna be immediately like right here and it don't want to be there it wants to be right here right in the mid so this bitch is actually gonna be like about an inch shy of being exactly like original short bed but it's gonna be pretty goddamn close you won't be able to tell by the eye again this one's in a fucking monte carlo frame so been putting it together since last summer just couldn't find the door or a fucking bed and whatever but we're piecing it together from a bunch of other different trucks in case you don't get new to the channel or whatever you know what i'm saying this shit honestly i have um seller's remorse from uh going to swap me because i miss my fucking hubcaps and shit i sold my little bike <laughs> just straight up fucking spend that money on a pattern of a nine you know i'm saying and like it's a lot of low, low balling because everybody's offering you and you fucking sell it in the moment and shit so i don't know anyway now i have to unload it so i'm fucking like them bitch this is like a fucking brand new grill for an 80 square body but apparently on 87 there's like a lot of variations and the fucking truck i had was a 20 a c20 and uh long story short they sent me the fucking wrong one <clears throat> Reminds me of like Chichu and Chan and shit. Especially now that I slammed it. it. Just has a little attitude to it. Anyway, I'm trying to fuck with a bumper. I'm gonna put some reference lines with tape and then measure like some weird angles and shit. I still see it like something's up with it. But again, we're not just like installing a bumper, we're like fighting the crash that I had here. Yeah, so this bitch is not like just slapped the bumper and so I've had to uh, pull the frame and straighten this edge to see if we can get this house straight. But uh, we're getting there. I mean, all these C10s have the lean anyway, so really get to looking at them but yeah I mean definitely now I'm the same distance from the lights to the bumper because before this one was a little bit higher so I was able to pull the fucking frame down the other day so now we have that leveled it's centered as fuck for sure and I think um, the tapering from the bottom is where it's gonna get us at this line that comes across from this rib, I'm gonna put a tape line facing down to see if we come down at the same distance from the bottom of the fucking body. We'll see that, and then from there, throw some tape lines on it. I'm gonna pull. All right, all right, all right. So when you slam a truck, car, whatever that has squirrels in the front, the geometry's gonna be whack, and then your tires gonna be cambered in like this. To combat that, there's a lot of ways to do it. You can get extended control arms. Um, you name it with drop spindles and all that bullshit but there's a lot of ways to skin a cat here um, how bad chat said and this cat we're gonna skin it like this see how I, well that's actually the last set I have but I had a gang of these and these are just like the perfect size for some reason and they're um reinforced and everything you can just run this and then you run the regular shins with longer bolts Put this in a runner right here like that and that's gonna give you an extended control arm bringing the tire like this when you slam it having the right geometry not wearing out your tires and all that shit bang so yeah we're doing that right now you see now the tire is straight and there they are you gotta get longer hardware too um, grade 8 hardware 
and I still put all the shims and everything in the same order to keep the same um, caster and camber dildo going on. He's learning how to turn around without putting his feet down because it's a big ass bike for him still. You got it. I can't even, do, I can't even steer it one hand. You just don't fall. Alright, alright. There you go. That's how you're supposed to stand there, like that, with one, one foot. I like your steering wheel. I don't know, but I fucking moved it forward and like this, and like this. I don't know, but a sixteenth. And every angle is measured to each line of reference in my fucking world. Oh, that's trip. I welded that bitch in and ground it smooth already here. All the way, you see it? This bitch is fucking worse. And then I'm gonna kind of try to clean the paint off a little because I'm gonna try to rust it with up. That with peroxide and salt, that bitch is gonna be brown like the rest of it. Here pretty soon, shortly. But yeah, fucking rear bumpers. Now I have to fucking. Last time my fucking phone was there, I was trying to fucking. So I didn't record any of it, but um. I started mucking up the bumper for the fucking steps right here. in the morning I was cutting this hole um, so I had to fucking the brackets that were on this one are those remnants of them anyway um, and I had it bolted on but it's high from this side because I think that bumper's crooked so I gotta do some fucking investigating here to see what the fuck it is but you know like always I don't know why the fuck, no step side bumper I've ever seen is straight, and though this one is seemingly straight to the naked eye, it ain't shit. Sucks because it's actually buckled from the other side in, down, and from this side it's buckled out, up. So I'm going to do with some bullshit. You can see here, you can actually see physically where this bolt is now facing this way and you can see the indentation here so this is supposed to be in like that the cent the center part is actually level as fuck and centered now after i had to fuck with the brackets <clears throat> it's actually all the same distance around here it's not only after this part right here that it starts fucking around because like i said right here and on this side it's ever so slightly but it's actually facing downwards a little bit because right here you can actually feel it too it's a little kinky but um closer than yesterday you gotta really fucking like stress on it to start seeing how crooked the bitch is but um we'll get there i have to see if I can pull this one in with a clamp and change it once I tighten it. So I'm gonna put some of these fucking magic salts. There's like rock salt, crack cocaine, fucking vinegar, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, what else? Damn, this bitch rust on the quick dog, ain't even playing around. <laughs> That's crazy. 
I got hydrogen peroxide on um, rock salt, vinegar, salt, some of this shit. Anyway, let's see how how I do. It's not a hot rod, it's got a two barrel. I'm like, fuck you bitch, I ain't rich. <laughs> I can't afford the fucking aluminum manifolds, like 800 barrels. Yeah, so all these fucking wires were taped together. This one was going to the MSD ignition. So I don't know if they're trying to draw power from this side of the harness. Or I don't know what this looks like. It's the lights to me, shit. I'm not too sure yet. But also, Kind of thinking, I'm gonna just rip this whole shit off and then just run individual wires for all the lights. Since I mean, I don't really need anything else other than the power going to it. Bobby, the fucking what's the parasitic parasitic acid that shit works good you make that shit with rock salt vinegar and hydrogen peroxide but that shit was yesterday and look at how rusted it is <clears throat> that shit straight blended this like a dark ass brown I didn't remove any of the paint on this bottom part and shit, you know. I was testing the process, but yeah. Spinacular. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Are you okay too? Stand up for. I guess these fools were born right now in the morning. Just gonna make sure that they're eating. You look okay. That one doesn't have the satanic notes on him. He's gonna be tall. You see, the dad has the fucking notes under his neck. Not allow him out. Right, 
right, so I'm pretty content with it now. I'm gonna still put a clamp to this and then bend it that way because it's kinked from here, but that should be pretty easy. She's golden. So I have to make four more of these little tabs because I'm making the fucking hubcap deal though again with the fucking old school hubcaps. So I already made four of these little tabs and cleaned them. Which now they're right here. I'm like, where the fuck did I put them? Anyway, so I kind of changed the position of where they land now and they made them shorter. Learned a little couple of things from the other one. The other one was working fine, but things will be easier like this. Um, it's all trial and error. So I'm going to put my carburetor that I think I know works. Problem is that they had fucking broke that bolt. This shit wasn't even tied down. It was just on there like that. So I'm going to try to weld the nut onto that broken part. See if I can get it out. To be honest, I don't have much hope for it. I got it real good in the center and it's well down there, but this bitch looks hella fucking rusted, so we'll see. But I'll test. Yeah, well, yesterday I was tending to some customers. So they came through and I just didn't do anything else. It got dark. That a gasket is for an adapter. So I'm just gonna try to see if I get it running. If I do, maybe I'll change the intake or drill it out. But um, I've had other ones running with just three bolts, so I'll be all right. I wasn't able to extract it, welding the nuts onto it. It kept breaking free. It's just too rusted. You can see here where like the top's welded, but you can see where it just rips off where it grabs. So that's no good. Um. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna put back the other little cover that came with because the one that I thought it fit that I had laying around here doesn't. They look really close, but they're not. This, you, you, this is the gasket for this one. You can see here that it's far off. Yep, different base. And it's sort of like a similar engine, but. Yeah, I don't know. This here is gold. This is the gasket I need. So I guess fuck the one I made. I found the right one. But I can't find the fucking nuts that I need. Alright, before fucking with anything, gotta figure out the little spaghetti going on. I do see here the two starter wires, so it's going to be one power to ignition and all that, and then one of them is going to be trigger, and then main power to starter, so I'm going to cut these holes, and then I'm going to fucking bridge them. And then, coming from the cap, this was going to the ignition switch, it's power to the alternator, and from there it's going to the um, distributor to a bellage resistor and then I guess this is a fucking voltage regulator maybe? Yeah, I don't know. So that's ignition. So yeah, so now I have to apply 12 to this one and crank it over so it have spark and then we'll go from there. Usually when you fuck with the points, it's a good idea to Flick them open. See this? I can them open. And I kind of try to scrape it with the, the screwdriver so you can get a good contact. Because this was going to keep the car from running. I fucking hate points. If I get this bitch running, I'm going to fucking swap it to an ATA. But that's then and not now. Took off number one spark plug. Put it on top dead center. And then, um,. Seems like we're in good timing. I'm trying to source out some wires because all the ones I have here are all these modern style ones and shit, so we'll see. So I had spark momentarily. 
because it's like a point ignition that sparked momentarily. I had it bridged, and I wanted to cough over. And then it started leaking mad oil because somebody had removed the oil fucking gauge plug. So I found that bolt with the same thread to uh, plug it up for now. But then I lost spark. And then I've been fucking with the points, trying to uh, flick them and clean them up and all this and that. I think it's a bad condenser. I think it just wasn't his way out. So I don't even want to fuck with it anymore. I don't want to spend any money on parts for just testing if the engine's good. So I have a shit ton of Chevy HEMs. I know these two are small block and this is Oldsmobile, but it's the same cap. So if these caps aren't good, maybe that one's good. Um, yeah, we're on it. So again, I have it on top dead center. I just spun it over, took the fucking spark plug out. This is a little plug I used to find out. So now, I think, hopefully, the fucking distributor looks pretty crunchy in there. Hopefully, this bitch just lights out. <clears throat> I'm scared to have been tugging that bitch because I like almost know it's gonna be a fucking mission. The beauty about Chevrolet is that like a hundred years can pass and everything will pretty much fit. It looks like one of those fucking 80s HEIs and I'm dropping this hoe. I'll do a little quick measurement here, but this will go butt so you can see this when you're gonna point it, if you want it to land here, you gotta start it about 30 degrees this way. So you see when you pull it up, where it, ends, where it starts right here, you gotta let it drop in. That way it can drop into the oil gear, which is the slot, and then the gears itself. Because not only does it have to line up on the gears, it has to line up with that shaft. You see that little slot? So it's a 180 too, like the fucking teeth. So I always remember it goes in like this. Like, and then down. So 30 degrees off where you want it to actually land. That's where people fuck. Nah, I'm on my fucking slides. That is the last time. This is the last time that I drive this truck. You guessed it. I fucking sold. I sold a dually. It's gone forever. Not part of the crew anymore. A lot of people liked it and shit. This lifts up high. It's kind of sad, but not really. I keep making money. Bring the, the if I bring the front down a little bit, it'll clear up. What? Yeah. She's 
on. She's a big girl. Supposedly, this is off a of Harley, but looks a lot to me like one of those Chinese aftermarket parts. Anyway, I do need a front end for some bike I have, so. This is pretty cool though, it's a naked bitch. It has like a little booty on it. <laughs> 